Yo, yo! Get the tabs in the house, yo! <laughs> what do you say? I am ready to rock! Your hands are dirty. Oh. <laughs> I'm Brie and this is my surrogacy journey. Hopefully you don't hear too many of the car sounds, um, but it's such a nice day this morning. I wanted to film outside. I'm very much a person who feels like more grounded when I'm in the fresh air and looking at trees and it just feels better than sitting inside. So we're outside. Hopefully the cars aren't too loud right here because I live right off of a street. So hopefully it's not too, too bad. But I wanted to check in with you guys because I haven't made a video since my I'm pregnant video. So my first betas came back as 306 and that was on a Friday. That was nine days past my transfer day. That following Monday, I had to do the labs again. And at that point, my beta HCG levels were at 1,151. So much, much higher. And then they, they like to do them three times. So they do 
the first one to, to see if you're pregnant, the second one and the third one to make sure that your HCG beta levels are rising like they're supposed to be um, because they should be doubling or tripling So every time that we check them. So the third time was on a Wednesday, so two days past my second one, and my levels were 1,976. So they have been pretty high. My coordinator at ORM was very confident with those numbers, and um, we had the green light to go ahead and schedule my first ultrasound. So that is scheduled for October 24th um, at 9 a.m., so bright and early. It's about 30, 40 minutes away from me. Hopefully, because it's so early, I won't hit a ton of traffic, but I may be hitting some commuters traffic, so we'll see, but um, hopefully it won't be too bad. My cat knows I'm out here and she is sticking her head through the blinds, but I'm feeling really great. I actually feel exactly the same as I did with Aiden, who's my one-year-old son. He turned one in August. I was actively trying for him my husband and I were so I was tracking my cycle when I was trying to get pregnant with Aiden so we knew we were pregnant at about three weeks and right now today is Wednesday so let's see Friday Saturday Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday today I'm five weeks and five days pregnant um, because from my first pregnancy test, they consider me four weeks pregnant at that time. So today I'm five weeks and five days pregnant. So I will be actually almost seven weeks pregnant by the time I do my first ultrasound. So I'm feeling really great. I have little, little nauseous spells, but I eat those preggy pop drops. I get them on Amazon or from Target. And after I eat it, it's like a, it's almost like a candy like you suck on it and by the time it's gone I wait a couple minutes and then my nausea is gone too so it's totally not a big deal I did experience nausea when I was pregnant with Aiden but I never got the typical morning sickness when I like throwing up so I'm hoping that I don't have any of that going on with this pregnancy either I am getting um the frequent peas which a lot of people are surprised that that happens in the first trimester because obviously like there's not a big old baby pushing on your bladder yet like there is in the third trimester but it's just a chemical thing right now so I'm making more frequent bathroom trips but that's okay I'm feeling pretty darn good I am still doing my regular injections so I am still doing the progesterone every day that is an intermuscular injection once a day every day so that's in my glute muscle but I am only doing one milligram of that now instead of two so that's really nice that's helping with the soreness it's of course the injection itself is a tiny bit painful but if it if when my husband does it really good it's it feels actually good it's almost not painful at all it's really like the next day even when I rub it out and I use my heating pad I'm still sore the next day from it so being able to reduce the um, the amount that I'm injecting by half has been significant in how sore I am and how uncomfortable it is so that's still every day and I'm still doing the Dell estrogen which is another oil-based intermuscular injection in the glute muscle but that's only twice a week on Mondays and Fridays so I'm only doing um, two injections a day twice a week so that's still super easy um, I am also doing the micronized progesterone now and I am still of course taking the aspirin and my prenatal vitamins but Everything is going very, very smoothly. They will check, I'll, I'll do some labs and um, they'll do blood work when I go in for my ultrasound next week. So today's Wednesday, so that's a week and a day away. So I'm super, super excited. That is the heartbeat confirmation appointment. So I will make sure to make a video all about how that goes. And um, other than that, everything's been pretty low key around here. My family, and I were, we enjoyed a nice kind of long weekend. I normally work Wednesday to Saturday. I'm a hairstylist for those of you who don't know. So we work weekends, but I did take this past Saturday off a few months ago because it was my only Saturday. I didn't have clients through the rest of the year. So I just took it off and 
we hung out, we went to my little brother's soccer game and I don't normally get to go to his sporting event so I was super happy that I got to watch him play soccer. And um, that night actually my sister, she's a senior in high school, she had her very last homecoming which is just mind blowing. Um, but because I didn't work, I, I was able to go over to her house and do her hair and her makeup which was really, really nice and special since it was her last homecoming. So I was able to do that, um, which I did actually film and I, I'm only doing my intro right now. So I haven't decided if I'm going to put this, that in the video, I might put it in just so you guys can see, um, just cause it's fun. Um, so I might add that in this video, but it was really fun doing her hair and her makeup and, um, I don't typically do hair at home. So it was, it was fun going over to my dad's house and like being able to do it there, it was it was cool. And then let's see, Sunday, we all, my dad, my brothers, my sister, my stepmom, and then my family, my husband and my son, we all went to Bishop's Pumpkin Patch in Wheatland, California. And I have been going there since forever, since I was born, I have always gone there. So it's really fun being able to pass on like my childhood traditions to my son. It's really, really cool being able to watch him like get so excited about things. I did take him last year, but he was only not even three months old at that point. So this time was definitely more exciting to watch him like be excited by the train and all the stuff. So it was really cool. So we've, you know, we've been keeping it pretty low key. We haven't been doing anything crazy. Um, I do have a hundred mile travel restriction from my hospital, which is only about 10, 15 minutes away from where I live. So I am somewhat restricted. We thought about doing a weekend getaway, but we, we ended up just staying home with my Saturday off and um, had a nice long weekend. I did have a team meeting at the salon on Monday, um, and normally I don't work on Mondays, but um, it was only a couple hours, maybe two or I think like a two hour meeting, so it wasn't so bad. And it was in the morning and um, we, we actually have monthly team meetings at the salon, just once a month, every month, but for holiday, it's so super, super crazy busy for everybody at the salon. So we don't do our monthly meetings in November and December. So we do a big one in October and then we pick them back up in, in about January, I think normally, or maybe even February. So that's all that's been going on guys. I don't have anything super, super exciting. I hope you were excited about my beta levels. They were pretty darn high. I was very, very happy with them. Um, I'm very confident this little, little embryo has stuck on and he's just growing like crazy. I actually have already, <laughs> I've already started the rubber band around my button and through my loop. Um, because when I'm standing up, I can button them and they're comfortable, but when I'm sitting down and they're buttoned, they're just like a tiny bit too tight because I, I was just super, super bloated, but now already I'm starting to get like harder, like firmer down below. So I don't think it's as, I, I'm still a little bit bloated, but I think it's really just my uterus is growing and a little tiny baby is growing and Everyone told me that the second pregnancy, you usually pop out and start showing sooner than you did the first. And I started showing really early, even in my first pregnancy, I was already in maternity clothes by 12 weeks. So I'm almost at six now, so we'll see. <laughs> and I'm doing the rubber band trick. So we'll see how much longer I can go before I'm in maternity clothes. But, um, Everything is going really, really great and I just wanted to check in with you guys and let you know how life is going and remind you that yes, I am a gestational surrogate. I am a carrier for another family, but I am still a mom. I am still a hairstylist. I'm a makeup artist. I'm a sister. I'm a wife. I am all of these things and in addition to, you know, being early on in this pregnancy, I have, I have life going on around me and it's super exciting time right now because my son is enjoying Halloween kind of for the first time because like I said last October he was not even three months old so it's it's really nice being able to kind of spend some quality time with my family and watching Aiden have his kind of first Halloween and um, the pumpkin patch and all that experience so 
it's been super super great i did blog i did vlog a little bit of the pumpkin patch so i i will actually go ahead and put in um my the hair and makeup video and i will also put in um some of the the pumpkin patch days so if you have any specific videos that you want me to film or questions for me, please leave them in the comments below. And I, as you all know, if you have been following my journey for a little while, you know my mission, my goal is to spread awareness about surrogacy. I am in no way an expert, but this is my my surrogacy journey, my very first time ever being a surrogate. And so I want to be able to share all of my thoughts and feelings and experiences along the way with other people who are doing going through surrogacy, whether you are a surrogate, your your wife is a surrogate, your sister, your, you know, whoever it is, um, coworker, friend. I just want to be able to share my experiences and, and show you guys the side that maybe isn't talked about as often. So please, 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 please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. It really will help me um, have a better idea of what videos you're liking, what videos maybe you're not as interested in. So please like this video if you enjoyed watching it, give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel and you'll follow me along my whole journey and I'm just in the very beginning of my pregnancy so we still have a long road ahead of us. All right, bye guys.